this project I'm going to take four balls four ball sprites and play a follow the leader game like you see on the left here on the emulator each of these balls has an interval of zero <clears throat> There are different sizes. The first is radius 15, the second and third have a radius of 10, and the fourth has a radius of 5. All of their speeds are initially 0, and it doesn't matter what the headings are, those will be set in with the blocks. So let's switch to the blocks viewer. And screen one initialize the heading of the first ball, the biggest ball, is given a random value between 0 and 359. It's set to a speed of 1 pixel per interval and then the follower clock timer is enabled. Inside the follower clock timer each of these procedure calls calls the shared procedure that checks to see if the ball that's being followed has been collided with and if so it stops the ball that is following otherwise it has it point toward that ball that it's following and sets its speed to one pixel per interval ball one is special in that it is lead ball whenever it reaches the edge of the canvas it bounces off the edge and all the other ball, ball 2 is following ball 1, ball 3 is following ball 2, ball 4 is following ball 3. So none of those balls need to deal with bouncing off the edge of the canvas because they're, they're all following other balls. And that's how you get the appearance here of some kind of a caterpillar or a worm that when this the head hits one of the walls it bounces off and all the other balls follow along 